Okay, so problem 28 in chapter 6 has to do with continu uh, continuity correction. And so it's asking us, um, use the continuity correction to describe the region of the normal distribution that corresponds to the indicated probability. And they've given us an example here where more than 20 defective items really corresponds to the area that is to the right of 20.5 because we need to have, we're dealing with um, discrete values. This is the only time we deal with continuity correction. So it, if we have a discrete value, we have to uh, take into account the halfway point you know, between the number and the next number and the number on the previous number and decide which side are we looking at. So here they're asking us the probability of no more than 14. So if I was to draw a normal curve and forgive me, this is I'm drawing with the mouse. So, and we have 14. Here's where 14 is. Okay, we have to determine which side are we looking at. So here we have either this value, which is 13 and a half, or this value, which is 14 and a half. And no more than really means x is less than or equal to 14. Well, that's this direction here. So that is going to be, we have to say, the probability is the area to the normal curve to the, and that is to the left of, and because we have to make sure that we, the next number would be 15 over here, that's more than, we have to come get this value that's between 14 and 15, which is 14.5. And yay, we got it right. So that's number 28. And then I'll do 29, because 29 and 30 are fairly similar. So 29, here, I'll show it to you. We're going to use the calculator, because there's nothing to do on the, um, let me clear this all off here. So here it says, um, I'll do a new one. Um, well, actually, we can just use this one. So, assume that 46% of uh, people have uh, zero um, group zero blood, and a hospital needs a, is doing a blood drive. They need zero blood. <coughs> they need at least 232 donors. If they get 470 volunteers, uh, is there likely to be enough um, people who have Group O blood? So we need to do some calculations. Well, we need to say this is a binomial distribution because we ha either have it or we don't have it. So we need to find out is are both of these bigger than 5? So 470 times 0.46 is 216.2 and 470 times 0.54 oops 0.54 is 253.28.8 so they're both bigger than 5 so we can use the normal curve to um, this assumption so here is our mean of 216.2 let me just clear this off um, just so I can have uh, I don't want to delete the, I want to erase where is the erase oh I guess we'll just do a new one okay so my mean is 216.2 That's my N P. And now I need to calculate the square root of N P Q. So I have four seventy times point forty six times point fifty four. Enter, that gives me a value, but I need the square root of that, so second square root, and I can bring back the answer, second answer. That is 
10.8049 and I'm going to just store this in S so store in S for standard deviation oops alpha S for standard deviation so but I can write down here it's 10.8 and I have a whole bunch of decimal places so I'm gonna leave that there so now I have to do my math now remember I have to figure out well which side am I looking at now I have my normal curve here's my mean of 216 okay I'm interested in 232 which is gonna be way out here somewhere Okay, so I have to have 232 or more people. So I have to either decide, do I am I interested in 231 or 233? All right, sorry, you know, 231.5 or 232.2. Well, I want more than I want this direction here. So I need to use the number that's a little less than that. So 231.5 is going to be my x value. 231.5 is my x value. So I do my math. So I have 231.5 minus my mean 216.2. Enter, and now I'm going to divide that by my standard deviation. And I get 1.416. So that's my z score. Now I can look on um, my distribution here, second distribution, normal CDF. So the value from, you know, negative 10,000 to my answer because I was normalized I get is 0.9216 well I want to have that's to the left so I want to have to the right which is 1 minus my answer and I find that it is 0 0.0784 which is what I put in here so now the part B says you know are there enough people well they're talking about 50%. <laughs> well, is 0 0.707 less than 50% or more than 50%? So it's less than. So I can get rid of the ones that say more than, which is the top two. And now, because 7% is not very likely to occur, I'm going to choose number D. And that's how you solve uh, 29. 30 is the exact same way, um, except that they're dealing with the uh, airplanes. So.